What's up, mob? Hey, Hayden Deegan is being singled out, and I don't like it. It's garbage, but I'm gonna expand on all that and more. But remember, subscribe, guys. It helps the channel. A lot of people have been getting unsubscribed without them doing it, so please double check that. And if you haven't subscribed, I appreciate it. So let's get into this. You need people like me so you can point your fucking fingers and say, that's the bad guy. All you guys that despise Hayden Deegan are not gonna like this video. I'm gonna defend him on this one. And no, I'm not switching my tune or this or that. I'm not changing sides as somebody said. I've never changed sides. I call what I see. Originally, I thought Hayden Deegan was turning pro too early. Turns out I was wrong. Turns out this kid's got heart for days, which I really like watching. It's not about whether I dislike him or dislike his dad. And yeah, I'm not a big fan of Brian Deegan, but that's, that doesn't matter. I'm watching what Hayden does on the track and judging it for what I see. Let's start with this first turn incident. This first turn incident, yes, it was Hayden's fault. But let me set this up for you in this kid's head. He has that horrendous crash at Daytona, battles through, sleeps on his belly all week because his ass hurts. He's a little grumpy, so he comes flying into that first turn. He thinks he's got enough room. These things happen in the first turn, especially, I mean, as long as you're gonna have 22 rider gates, this is going to be an issue. We need to switch to a two-row start, but that's a different argument for a different day. What I saw, Hayden came in there on that super grippy dirt, jammed the brakes. At the same time, Seth Hamaker's locking bars with his teammate, Daxon Benick. He had nowhere to go. Hamaker was the victim, went down hard. All Hayden Deegan felt was a big slam and green fender, and he's like, oh my gosh, the same guy that got me in Detroit He's already running a little hot. You know how it is when you've got an injury or in particular your tailbone. You're a little bit, your temper goes from this to this. So he was pissed. I get it. He jumps up and he pushes the bike over. Getting it off of his bike, he shoves it to the ground. Was that a bit much? Probably. And if I'm his dad, I'd probably tell him like, dude, yeah, you, you got to try and control that. I understand where it's coming from. But it is what it is. You know, he, he shoved the bike down and took off. If I'm defending this in a court of law, you can't prove to me that he wasn't just trying to get his bike free. I could make an argument all day long that he was pulling it off of his bike and he didn't mean to and he slipped. I could make that argument. We all kind of know he did it on purpose. But the AMA has no business judging that. He didn't punch him. He didn't hit him. He didn't do anything too bad. He said a lot of words and in the action of getting Seth's bike off of his, he overshot it a little bit. Eh, maybe you want to go over and say, hey, Hayden, you can't shove a guy's bike over, but it is not a finable offense. Now let's go to the pit incident afterward. Hayden simply walked over there. He didn't run. He didn't throw anything. He exchanged some words. It was brief. While I wouldn't recommend this if I'm his dad or anybody else, as a fan, I love seeing the human side of these guys come out. Whether you like it or dislike it, we want emotion. That brought out emotion. It got us all fired up. We're all paying attention. Whether you loved it or hated it, that is good for the sport. It might not be good for Hayden Dean's brand, but for the AMA to come in and say, don't do that, these guys are morons, morons. You know why this sport has never gone to that next level? Because you have idiots like that saying, oh, that's unprofessional. Well, guess what? You're racing dirt bikes, risking your life every single time you go out there. If you want to have a temper go off, big deal. We're not talking about guys in suits at a meeting. We're talking about dirt bike racing. This is not for the faint of heart. And you're going to get guys who are a little wild who do this sport. It takes a certain kind of personality to risk your life for peanuts. Yes, I know guys like Hayden make big money, but the purse money is peanuts. It takes a special kind of person, a little bit crazy. And now you're gonna go ahead and tell me this crazy person who's willing to take these incredible risks, now they can't even exchange words? Come on, AMA, you suck and have taken it to a whole new low. Now, I agree. It's maybe not the best thing for Hayden Deegan. And like I said, if I'm in his corner, I say, man, you gotta, 
Next time, just stay in the pit. Let's talk about it. Let's handle it a different way. But for the AMA to get involved is all wrong, all wrong. It's like the government. They think they want to control what you think and how you act. AMA, step back. I love seeing attitude out of our riders. Attitude is what makes them who they are. How do we know who to cheer for and who not to cheer for if it's just a bunch of robots, numbers, and dirt bikes? That's not cool. Like, come on. There's video games for that. I want to see the story underneath the helmet. And the AMA is clipping that. They're saying, no, we don't want any personality. No, personality, love it or hate it, sells merchandise, sells brands. And like I said, as many people disliked Hayden and thought it was a bad look, the other half of the people went, oh, that's awesome. Get him, Hayden. Like, it's inspiring. We want polarizing. I promise you the TV broadcast is going to keep focusing on it, but they're not the AMA. The AMA are a bunch of idiots. I'm not real thrilled with the TV broadcast, but at least they got that right to know to focus on that. Guys, amateur racing, it's a nightmare. If you want to check it out, uh, Coach Rob's got a podcast on how to navigate amateur racing. Get over there, subscribe, give him a, uh, a listen. It's good stuff. Epic Garage Designs has the coolest stuff for your garage. Uh, hit up epicgaragedesigns.com. Strapped, ridestrap.com. They have shirts, goggles, glasses. Hit up ridestrap.com for your cool stuff. If you're shipping anything and using a truck, use Precision Transport. This is a family-owned business that really takes a pride in customer service. So hit up pretransport.com. Okay, now to the main event. The two-position penalty is ridiculous. Now, I'm not saying he didn't deserve a two-position penalty. I'm saying it's ridiculous to single Hayden out. Watch the video. Dax went right in front of him. Dax made up more time than Hayden. Hardy Munoz went right in front of him. And Hayden slowed to make sure he didn't gain any more time than Hardy Munoz. If they want to say he accelerated, it was a mud puddle on plywood. Do you guys know how slick that is? Hayden was slightly off balance. There's pit guys or spectators and an emergency crew right there. You know how you turn on a really slick surface? You give it a little bit of gas and a little bit of gas on a slick surface looks like you pegged it. He did not pin it. I mean, look how slow he's just like pulling a tear off. He made it a real effort not to violate the rule. And for them to single him out, just shows you where the AMA is at. Like I said in my other video, it's like they've got somebody that they can't punish somebody for and they find them doing five over on a speed limit. It's ridiculous. Now, if you're going to penalize them, I don't have a problem with it. But you need to penalize Hardy and Daxton. You can't just single out Hayden. That just shows you what the AMA is and how corrupt and shitty they are. They are just a garbage organization I would never join that stupid organization that claims they fight for your rights, but guess what? What do they actually do? Collect money. It is one of the biggest frauds in the United States, and I cannot believe people defend them. Um, The whole organization is a joke. So, and you know, they, guys like Davey Coombs have relied on that little AMA logo to make their series the premier series. It's, it's, a, it's a bigger picture of cahoots. And, you know, I don't know why. It, it's crazy. We need to stop recognizing the AMA as the premier thing or what makes something national. Because guess what? They're a private company. And they're supposed to be nonprofit, but they are clearly profitable. I guarantee you, if you look into their books, which I know some people who have done that, um, yeah, they are really, really shady. Um, so anyway, the AMA sucks on every level. I agree with Jason Anderson. The AMA can suck it. And lastly, the issue with Cody Shock on the finish line. Guys, how many championships come down to one point? Um, a lot? That matters. And Hayden, we know he's got a never say die attitude. That's his thing. Cody Shock got lackadaisical. He went wide. He didn't think there was enough room. Hayden came in there like a bowling ball and It's the last turn. It's an unwritten rule that almost anything goes. And yes, I know it was for what, sixth, seventh place? That matters. It really does. And I'm sorry that Cody Shock had a hurt collarbone, but that's not Hayden's fault. Hayden didn't necessarily break that collarbone. I mean, it was cracked coming in. So you can't, you can't, I know Club MX and Cody Shock probably aren't going to like this take, but that wasn't Hayden's fault. Hayden was just racing hard. Was it a bit aggressive? 
Does he deserve a little payback? Probably. Um, but that's for Cody Shock to handle at a later date. Hayden Deegan, I hope he keeps being him. Like I said, if I was in his personal circle, I'd be like, bro, you gotta, you gotta contain it a little bit. Don't push a guy's bike over. But at the same time, I don't wanna contain that fire that makes him who he is. He doesn't mind being the bad guy. He welcomes it, he encourages it. He thrives off of it. Whereas like, I think Jet, it really bothered him when he got the booze. I think if Hayden got the booze, he would just be like, bring it, what do you got? And, and that's just his personality. So yeah, don't try and take that from him, AMA, you suck. All right, guys, remember, if you need a real estate agent, I'm your guy. I'll fight for you to get the best price you want, and I will get out there and sell your house. So hit me up at chriscooksymedia at gmail.com. Thanks, guys. Later.